In this post, I will show you the steps to get started with Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio. That's Microsoft Teams and build your first Teams tab with ASP.NET Core to boost your productivity. Now, I will tell you how to set up and install Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio, create your first Teams app with ASP.NET Core on Visual Studio. So first of all, there is some prerequisite. So first of all, you'll have to install Visual Studio 2022 version 17.3 or higher. So on my side, I have got 17.3.2. And if you have got Visual Studio 2022 community version installed, you have to look for Visual Studio installer like this. So Visual Studio installer will open and I will show you in a second if you are not sure about how to upgrade your um, how to upgrade your Visual Studio version okay so I have got this Visual Studio which I'll get to the screen for a, being able to see it so here I already have this Visual Studio Community 2022 20, 17.3.2 okay so if it was on a prior version lower version than this it will automatically show you the available versions where you can upgrade it to a higher version and if you have not upgraded visual studio installer for a while it will also tell you whether the visual studio needs to inst video studio installer vsi needs to upgrade first before upgrading your visual studio community version 2022 okay so i have already done so just to show you where i got this uh, um, microsoft teams toolkit i will click on modify so getting things ready so this is already checked asp.net and web development workload now if you look into this uh, here you can see it has got this microsoft teams development tools all checked so where it not been there you need to install it by ticking this box and then click on install while downloading so in my case i have got it all prepared to show this lecture all right so let's proceed okay so i will i've already launched it so it's already there and you see microsoft teams app so what i'll do i'll click on next and i'll give it a suitable name so you can give it any name you can just get by with my teams app one or i will because i am following a microsoft tutorial on this lecture so i will give it a name which was already shown in that block so one productivity one productivity productivity hub asp.net core and then click on create and then create a new teams application i will have to click on tab then create it will create that and i will come back after a while when the project is created so now my project is created teams project so this is one productivity hub asp.net core i'll have to right click and click on teams toolkit prepare teams app dependencies and i'll sign in so what i will do i will make it actually i'll sign in with work school or personal account now since i am also a lecturer i've been working as a lecturer from this year and contract at aut university auckland university of technology university in auckland so i will use that microsoft account for my school so click on sign in and then it will ask me the sign in details for you me email and password so let me give it to them taking you to your organization signing page so this is a ut login okay so username is
click on login so authentication with duo is required for the requested service so it has given a push let me check my mobile so i have got this um i'm putting it in front of the camera so i've got this um, duo login and i will click on approve i think you cannot see it but i have it on my mobile duo application for sort of um, two-factor authentication and click on approve so when i click on approve you can see that it is going to sign me in with my microsoft 365 account and if you don't have a workplace account then you can join the microsoft 365 developer program for a free account you can click this link to see more okay and then uh, click on continue now to run the application i'll click on this icon microsoft teams browser and let's see when it comes up with the browser i'll come back again now it is again asking me the my organization login so i click on this login and again it is giving a do a push so i will approve it let me see this is my workplace um, email id i click on don't show this again stay signed in it's slowly coming up so once this screen appears all i need to do is to click on add now once i click add let's see the fun what happens so it doesn't take long and you get the personal tab with congratulations kaushik Roy Chaudhary, Kashik Chaudhary, your app is running and in your local environment. Wow! So success. So we have won. Uh, we have been able to successfully demonstrate how to create a Microsoft Teams as applications using um, our ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET 6 rather, after meeting the prerequisites. So. Thank you very much for viewing and if you have liked this video, please do subscribe to this channel and put your valuable inputs.